Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex and this month we're going to take a look at installing Plex on Unraid which is a great platform for building out your own network attached storage device and what's nice about Unraid is that it's pretty simple to get working it uses Docker containers for most of its applications and one of the things that I always recommend to people when they're first setting up a Plex server is to run it in Docker on some kind of Linux host and I found Unraid to be really one of the better ways to do it. In fact, this is how I run my Plex server. And what's fun about Unraid is that you can start it on some low-end hardware like this little mini PC and move it to different pieces of hardware as you upgrade. And all you have to do is take your drives out and the boot drive and just move it over to the new hardware and boot it up so it's very easy to migrate. And of course, Docker containers are very easy to move around on their own. So even if you move off of Unraid, if you are hosting Plex in Docker with Unraid, it moves over quite easily. So uh, what we're going to do in this video is install the Plex Media Server from scratch on a running Unraid server. I did a whole video about how to set up Unraid, how it works, the philosophy behind it, which I'll put in the video description. So if you haven't set up Unraid before, download the trial, watch that video, and then come to this one to get the Plex server up and running. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all opinions are my own. So let's get into it now and see what we can do with this Docker container in Unraid. All right, our first step here is to go over to the Unraid app section and look for Plex. You're going to see a bunch of different ways to run Plex, but there is an official version of it that the Plex team maintains. So that's the one we're going to run today. And so what we're going to do here is click on install. And when we do that, we get brought to the template page. And this is one of the things that I really like about Unraid is that many popular applications like Plex have a very easy to follow way to get your container up and running. So there isn't much that we need to do here other than filling in a form and clicking start. So that is what we're going to do here. So as you can see here, the uh, server is called Plex Media Server. We can rename this to whatever we want, but I'm just going to go with the default. We're going to leave the repository blank. For network type, this might generate some discussion. I'm going to leave mine on host, and the reason is, is that I want my Plex server to be easily discoverable by my devices on the local network. And if you switch it over to one of the other options here, like Bridge, it gets a lot harder. You've got to do a lot of additional networking. And if you're like me and don't allow any outside connections to come into your network that are not on your local personal VPN, then you should be fine here, I think, having it set to host. And of course, if you want to go a little more complex in your configuration, set it to bridge and get all of your uh, port mappings and everything set up. Now, the next thing we need to do is point this container at our local file folders so that we can get all of our media ready to go along with our metadata. And so what I did earlier was I created a share on my Unraid server called Plex Media. And in there, I've got a folder for data, which is where we're going to store our Plex metadata. I have a folder for movies. I have a transcode folder and I have a TV folder. And I did put a movie and a TV show uh, into the folders there so we have something to look at when things get set up. So that's all set to go here. And so what we're going to do first is point the container at the transcode folder. And as I click on this, as you can see, I can browse my local file system. How easy is this? And I can go over to transcode. So that is where we're going to point our transcoding at. The next thing we're going to do is set the path to our data. So I'm going to go to Plex Media and Data. And so now we've got that set. Now the next thing we need to do is tell this Plex container where our media is going to be stored. And so we'll do this the simple way here. We're going to click on Add Another Path or Port. I'm going to leave it to the default here, which is Path. And we're going to call this the Media Folder. And the container path is going to just be slash media. You can make this whatever you want because it is basically just going to show up as a folder on the container side. The host path, we're going to point back at this Plex Media folder, but the root of it. So that way, if I add a music folder later, I don't have to map or add another mapping here. So we can just create folders inside of this Plex Media folder and then point the libraries at each individual folder. And this will all make sense when we get into that in a second. And everything else here we can leave blank. We're going to click on Add. So that is good to go. 
While we're down here, I'm going to do one more because in order to get hardware transcoding to work, you do need to point your container to a specific directory essentially on your server. Let me show you how to do that. So we'll click on that add another path option again. This time though, we're going to select a device. And as you can see, our options get much shorter here. I'm just gonna call this hardware transcode. You can call it whatever you want. And the value we're going to put in is slash DEV, and I'll zoom in so you can see it better here, slash DRI. And this will point Plex at the hardware transcoder that's built into our Intel chip. Without this port mapping here, or this hardware mapping or device mapping, uh, you will not get the hardware transcoding to work. But when you have this line on your Plex server, this will get it all working. And of course, we'll verify that when we get everything up and running. So we are almost done here. And I am gonna scroll back up for a second because we do need to get a token from Plex to claim our server. You can always do this later, but I like to do this ahead of time. So what we're gonna do is the instructions point out here is go to plex.tv slash claim. And when we go to plex.tv slash claim, we will get a code here. This will expire in four minutes. So you have to spin up your server pretty quickly after getting this claim code. I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard. We're gonna go back to our container here and fill this in with our claim code. And don't worry, I'm gonna delete everything after this video is uploaded so that uh, won't get blanked out here. And I think we're ready to go. So I'm gonna click on apply and our server will begin to spin up. And this will take a few minutes, depending on the speed of your connection and how fast your hardware is. And what it's going to do is grab that Plex container. It's going to configure everything inside of Docker on the Unraid server. And then when it's done, our server will be ready to go. So why don't we let this finish up here? Oh, it looks like it's already done. And I think we are ready to move on to the next step. And that next step is to connect to our Plex server using a web browser. So you need to have the IP for your Unraid server. And then you put a colon in and then point it at port 32400. And when you do that, uh, you will get your Plex login here. So I'm gonna go log into my Plex account and then we'll pick it up from the next step. All right, so we are logged in. And if you have ever set up a Plex server before, this screen, of course, will look very familiar to you. We're gonna click on got it. Uh, we will keep the Plex server's name here as Plex Test, and we'll just kind of go through the motions here to get things set up. So the first thing we have to do, of course, is build out our media libraries. So I'm going to start with Movies, and we'll just call it Movies here. We'll click on Next, and then we'll browse for the Media folder. Now remember, we created that mapping called Media, and if I do that, check it out. Here are the folders on my Unraid server, and for this particular library, I'm going to point it at Movies and click on Add. And we have Back to the Future in there. So I'm going to click on Add Library. And then I'm gonna make another library here for the TV shows. And I've got, I think, Stargate SG-1 in there. So we're going to, again, browse for media folder, go over to Media, and then we'll click on TV and click Add there. And that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna add this library. And then we will go to the next step and click on Done. And now we'll let everything index and hopefully we'll have a Plex server up and running here very quickly. All right, so I just popped on my phone and as you can see, I've got Back to the Future here, which is the movie that was in our movie folder there. If I switch to our TV show here, you can see I've got my uh, first season of Stargate SG-1 in there as well. So that looks like it is working. The next thing I wanna do is put the transcoding to the test. So what we're gonna do is spin up Back to the Future here and I'm going to force a transcode so that we can get it to uh, work its hardware transcoder and we'll verify if that's working with the control panel. Hang on. All right, so as that movie is playing here, I'm gonna go down to 1080p medium, down from a 4K uh, version of the film. So as you can see, it's going to chew on that for a little bit. Let's jump over to our server and see what's happening. And as you can see here, we've got everything working effectively where it's going from 4K HDR10 to 1080p. So we're getting the hardware uh, tone mapping to work. And if I could show you the phone here without a copyright strike, I could tell you the phone looks like it is displaying properly. And it's also transcoding the audio. And if we go down to our CPU utilization, you can see it's pretty minimal here, even though we're doing some pretty heavy duty transcoding. And that's thanks to the Intel N150 processor that I've got running on the little test server there. So pretty cool stuff here. 
uh, for getting your Plex server quickly spun up with a Docker container, complete with hardware transcoding on some low-end hardware with Unraid. Now you will have to check for updates periodically and it's pretty easy to do with Unraid. One way to do it is just to go into the apps tab here in your Unraid control panel. If there's an update available for Plex, it will initiate something called the Action Center. You click on that, you click update, and it takes care of everything for you automatically. Likewise, you can also jump into the Docker option here. And if there's an update, you will see it here on screen. You click the update button and you are done. I'll click for updates right now, of course, but there won't be any because we just installed this. But really, it is a point and click operation here to get your Unraid containers updated. And hopefully this was helpful to you if you're looking to move your server over to something new or start one up for the first time. You can't get much easier than Unraid with this Docker component. And again, if down the road you wanted to move this to new hardware, you could take the whole Unraid installation and just move it by swapping your drives out. Or you can move the container itself to something else and spin it back up just by pointing it at the official container that we downloaded on Unraid because the container that Unraid uses is the same container you would use in any other Linux installation. All pretty easy to get up and running here. And as I said, probably one of the better ways to run a Plex server. And what's really cool about Unraid is that you can do a lot of other self-hosting experiments as well. So many of the popular open source applications are available through Unraid uh, with a process of spinning up just as uh, nice and easy as you saw here with Plex. That will do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.